Hello, uh, Mead Maid here. Um, I wanted to show you how I actually set up the fingers for printing for Iron Man, for my Iron Man suit. I'm actually doing War Machine, and uh, I've gotten a few questions on Instagram on how I even got my fingers to print because some people are saying that they have a lot of problems with it. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have like a box of fingers that have failed. So I, I've learned a few tricks to be able to print these easily, and I was able to get them all on my CR10, all 10 fingers, uh, and every single joint all in one print. And they actually turned out really well, as you can see. And I'm going to kind of go through the settings on just one finger, and then it's pretty much a wash and, wash and repeat. And, uh, and we can go through here, and I'll show you how I'm doing it in Cura. I've actually got this on my Ender 3 Pro settings. Um, so, you know, your bed's going to be the different sizes. But kind of just kind of go through this. So first we're going to start with the easy ones. Um, the back uh, digit or uh, segment is pretty easy. All you got to do is I move them over to the side and like looking at it there's different angles on some of these and it's kind of a pain because um, I figured out that laying them flat uh, like on here we'll go through here I realized rotating them and trying to get this piece right here flat just does not work because you get a lot of like terrible mess ups like when you're rotating it and trying to get it flat and positioned on there um, just because you can see that it is not perfectly flat um, and uh, that angle you'll get weird supports underneath here when you lay it down and it is just not worth trying uh, trust me because it just doesn't look good because you'll have like only one little tiny point of contact and I honestly I hated it um, the one thing that I'll definitely tell you is when you're doing this stuff turn off snap rotation because snap rotation does not help you in any way when you're trying to turn this in such a small small turns but you can kind of see like it'll just be at a point or something like that so what you want to do is you want to look at each one of these finger joints and try to, so I'm going to like look at it here. You see how this is kind of flat and then I'm going to angle it here and then you see that this is kind of flat. So this one has a better points of contact, um, but this would have, this side would have less supports. So I'm going to leave that to you because all the fingers are different. Some of them I flip flopped, but what I did was I rotated them like this and kind of turn that and the main thing I was focusing on is getting this right here flat so I wanted to get that flat so I'm gonna keep turning that and you can always use your angles your view angles here and I also recommend going up to your settings and uh, making sure that your view is your camera view is an orthographic not perspective so you just go up to view camera view orthographic orthographic means you're looking at the model perfectly from one side and so once you have it turned pretty good so you can see I've got a tiny bit there so it's pretty flat and you want to get it as flat as possible and then there we go I've got that it's really good and then I'm going to turn this from this angle and get it to lay flat like that. So let's go to our front view, zoom in, and there we go. So I have a good point of contact here and a good point of contact here. So I just print them straight up and down. Um, same thing with this one. So this one is a little different, your middle digit. You don't want to actually have it printing. Let me zoom in here. You don't, you want this pointed up where it actually sets in. So let's rotate this. And I'm always trying to get on the X and Y, like rotate it that way first. So when you're rotating these things, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do. So I'm gonna rotate this and then rotate it back around. Move 
this. And then I'm doing the same exact thing. I want this pointing up. So you can see here, I'm going to try to get that as flat as possible. I want this completely flat. That's the key I found. You want one edge completely flat, and then wherever the back edge hits, that's fine. So here, let me go from this side now. Kind of scroll down. So you can see here, I'm going to angle this. There we go, perfectly flat. So now, I'm going to turn it around and make sure that you've got it touching, which I already do, which is awesome. So that's it right there. So now, I've got these two positioned perfectly. This is the, the main guy that I've had a lot of problems with. I can't tell you how many fingertips I kept printing out. Um, because it was the same problem. Like I was trying to print it on this edge right here just to try to lay it flat and I had those problems. I tried to print it just on the, you know, the pad of the finger and it kept having issues. I mean, I turned this every which way and then I finally realized that I need to use the same technique I was using and have it pointing straight up and down. So it's just going to be right. You want to get that tip. So let's move this out of the way. Move him over, and let's look at him. So you want to get that rotated perfectly flat on the tip. And they've all got different angles, so you really don't want to focus on anything else but this flat edge. And you want to get as much as you can. So you can see that there are gaps, and that's fine. You can't get it perfect because they're all, everything's at an angle, um, and you don't want it to be at any kind of weird angle like because I've also been trying to print on this so this did I did get some success with that so like once you have it you can go and kind of turn it that way to get more of a flat piece so like it once you think you have a good spot so like right there like I got a good point of contact so that actually could work pretty well like I would actually use this like that if you want, you could rotate it around a little bit more to try to get a little more flat. And see, that's a pretty good one too. So you want to try to get a good pad or a good straight line. And that is half the battle because I was printing this way and I mean they just kept, like I would get them up to here and then they would just fall off and then you get a spaghetti mess. So this is the other part. So creating a support blocker. So I would create a support blocker on this just like that. And I will position it inside the finger. So first, me being as particular as I am, I want to, let's get a top view here. I like to rotate everything and have everything even on an X and Y. So then I have my support blocker that I'm using. And I've got him positioned in there, and then I'm going to scale him. So I turn off uniform scaling, and I'm going to scale him down. Oh. Hold on, I'm having problems here. So scale him down. And for the Z, let's say five millimeters. Then, once I have it, I'll actually have it in, in there a little bit and making sure that I'm covering the entire tip. So you can see right here I'm not. And I'll actually rotate this guy around to make sure he matches with the finger well. And I see that I've got to make him wider. So I'll make it a little wider. Uh, it's warping on me here. So let's say I'm going to make this 15 millimeters. And now I just got to move him over. And you see here that I've actually got him all the way around. If I wanted to, I could move it back just a little bit to have a little more wrapped around here if you want. And if you, you know, if you want to, you can definitely go and let's say I'll make him 15 millimeters too. 
So now it's actually fully in there. Now this is the key here. So I'll move him. I want him centered in this support blocker. Then I click on the support blocker. I'm already clicked on him and I go over here to per model settings and I'll switch it to print as a support. So now this is actually going to be a support and it's going to be giving a lot of stabilization through this because if it can have a good adhesion and all of your settings are good right here, it will print it pointing up really well. So now once I have that, so I'll select both of these and the other key here is when you're printing multiple fingers, like maybe you just want to print one finger at a time, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I know when I was doing my tests on my fingers to get the right sizing, I was only printing one finger, like two or three fingers at a time. Um, so like I would actually take this and duplicate this and scale them down. So like for me personally, I know my perfect fit is at 95%. So a 95% scaled, oh, hold on, messed that up. Uniform scaling back on, and at 95%, that is exactly what I need. So I can select both of these and click 95%. And then those are the right sizes for my fingers. So you need to be able to size them to your right size of your finger because you don't want them too big or too tight because some of you also will have electronics and if you want to put any banding in here like I'm going to be doing, that's what you want to do. So the other thing here is I always keep them in line. So I know like this is perfect. So if I have multiple fingers, like I was showing you earlier, like I'll, I'll actually put them in order. So like if this is my left index finger, then I will put my left middle finger right here and then just kind of keep them all in order and then I'll also label these like with a sharpie inside them so I don't mess them up before I'm like uh, like trying to confuse which one goes to what. So this file I actually got from uh, do3d.com um, but Thingiverse there's some really good you know hand models there that I've even played with. Um, there's even one some that, that connect to each other. I've tried that, but I don't like have the range of motion on those. So uh, I'm going to be doing these. Um, the last thing I will say is I actually go to build plate adhesion here. Oh, can't do it that way. So let me minimize all of these. There we go, build plate adhesion. I'll actually print all of this on a raft. Um, and the raft, I give, you know, about eight millimeters extra margin. And you can see my settings right here. Here, I'll just scroll down. You can see them all. This actually works out pretty well to me for me. And I'll even uh, slice this for you. Um, the reason I do a raft is because it lays down a really good first layer and I found the supports will connect to it really well. So there are small supports right here underneath and you can see the gaps. And when you have that, when you have your supports connecting to a raft, you have a lot more, uh, you have a better adhesion instead of sticking it to the bed. And that has always worked out really well for me when I'm doing small things. I don't do a raft all the time because I honestly don't like using rafts, only if I have to. So you can see here, oh, and there's one other thing I forgot. I also, when we're talking about the supports, turn on supports. And for the fingertips, I do supports everywhere. Um, and I make sure that I have them. So here, let me uh, hit hit this one more time for you. And let this go. And then you can see right here, you've got these supports and they actually, they connect really well um, to the raft itself. So this is one thing 
that I do. I hope this helps you, and I realize, you know, some people might not have great success with this, and they just need a little bit of help, and I'm hoping this does help. I have found some of these don't work. Uh, like, I've had a few fails inside here, but for the most part, you don't really need those. You really just need the supports here and the supports at the fingertips. Um, I hope, hope this is going to be helpful for you. But this is exactly what I do for all of my fingers, and I have successfully printed them now, and it's working out really well. So this is for my War Machine armor. This is how I've printed all of the fingers I have, and you can uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'm really active on Instagram, and if you message me there, I'll definitely get back to you uh, or leave a comment below, and I can get back to you in another comment to you. Um, I'm... I'm really hoping I can create a lot more of these videos to show you how I do these things. I've been 3D printing for a long time and uh, I've never done any uh, cosplay armor and I'm just trying to get into that because I think it's really fun um, and it's a new challenge for me. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me and if uh, you have any suggestions for other videos uh, that you'd like me to do on related to this kind of stuff of like how you print certain things or how to process uh, you know paint anything like that feel free to let me know uh, on instagram i'm it's mead made is my handle and uh, you can reach out to me there and follow me there too but other than that i hope you have a good day and happy printing bye